In this video, I am going to solve uh, exercise 1A, D2, 7th edition and uh, I am going to start it from question number 9. Up till question number 8, this exercise has been solved in a previous lesson. Question number 9 is, for each of the following, y is directly proportional to x. Copy and complete the table. So, if you have to complete the table, now first of all, you have to write down the relation between x and y. Now, x is directly proportional to y and uh, we are inserting equality sign over here by inserting a constant k. In order to convert this proportionality sign into equality sign, you need a constant k. Now, you, from here, you have to look for the column where you have both values of x and y. Here I have got x24 and y6. Using these two values, I will find k. When x is 24, y is 6, I will obtain k. Now k will be 24 divided by 6. So k will be 4. After obtaining k, I can find the missing values in the table. So when x is 4, when x is 4, I am going to find y using this relationship x is equal to ky, I know the value of k which is 4, y, uh, x is also 4, I need to find y, so 4 divided by 4 will give you y equal to 1, so here in the table you have to use y equal to 1. The next missing value of is of y against x 20, so when x is 20, use this relationship, x is equal to ky, k is 4, as obtained above you need to find y and put x equal to 20 so 20 over 4 will give you y equal to 5 so here the y value will be 5 then you have to find the value of x over here when y is 9 so using again the same relation you have to find x when y is 9 so x is equal to k y k is 4, y is 9 and 9 4 times 36. So you have to insert the value of x here that is equal to 36. And then you have to find the value of x when y is 11. So when y is 11 you need to find x use the relationship x is equal to k y k is 4 y is 11, 11 into 4 is 44, so x is 44 when y is 11, so you can complete your table, x is 44 over here. The part V of question number 9 is again the same, you have to complete the missing values in the table, these values, so first of all, the relationship is same, that x is directly proportional to y. So this is the relationship which is going to be used here. So to convert this proportionality into equality, insert a constant k. Now x is equal to k y. Now you have to look for those values in the table where you have got both the values of x and y to find the value of k. So x is 3 and y is 3.6. So using these two values, x3 and y3.6 using these two values, First of all, find k x3 y 3.6 x3 y 3.6. Find k which will be from here and that will be equal to 5 by 6. How? 3, 3.6 will be going on the left side. So 3 divided by 3.6 will give you 3 into 10 over 36. How? Multiply 10 in the numerator as well as in the denominator. In order to remove this decimal from the denominator, you have multiplied the denominator with 10. If you are going to multiply the denominator with 10, you have to multiply the numerator with 10 also. By 10 also. So here 10 is multiplied with the numerator and 10 is also multiplied with the denominator. So 3.6 into 10 gives you 36. So 10 into 3 is 30. 5, uh, so from here 3. Uh, you can do it using 2, 2 15 times 30, 2 18 times 36, 5, uh, then 3, 3 5 times 15, 3 6 times 18 to got the value of k, which is the first step to solve the question. So after obtaining the value of k, you have to find the missing values. You go to the table, you know the value of x, but you don't know the value of y. Use the relationship, this one, x is equal to ky, 
we know the value of x that is 2. So when x is 2, x is 2, so you have to use k equal to 5 over 6 obtained uh, in the last step. So x is 2, k is 5 over 6, 6 will be multiplied with 2, it will become 12 and 5 will be divided over here, 12 over 5 will be the value of y. So here in place of y, when x is 2, y is 12 over 5. The next missing value is x is 5.5 and you have to find the value of y. So when x is 5.5, k is 5 over 6, use this relationship, k is 5 over 6, x is 5.5, you need to find the value of y. Now 5.5 can be written as 55 over 10. The reason is in place of decimal, insert 1 and because I have 1 digit after the decimal, insert 1 0. Now you can further simplify it, cross multiply here, 6 into 55, 5 into 10, that will become 55 into 6 and 10 into 5 50 now uh, here uh, a bit simplification is done over here now 5 and 55 is cancelled 5 1 time 5 5 11 time 55 11 into 6 66 over 10 will give you 6.6 so here you can see y is 6.6 .6 when x is 5.5 .5. this one 5.5 .5 and y is 6.6 .6. then when y is 9.6 you have to find the value of x when y is 9.6. So when y is 9.6, k is 5 over 6 as obtained earlier, x is to be obtained, k is 5 over 6, y is 9.6, 5 over 6, 9.6 is 96 over 10. Uh, by removing the decimal, insert 1 and you have one digit after the decimal, insert 1 0 over here. Now do simplification, 248 times 96, 2, uh, okay, 2 5 times 10 and then 5 and 5 will be cancelled, so 48 over 6 uh, and 6, 8 times 48, so x is 8 over here. So here when uh, y is 9.6, x is 8 and the last one is y is 11.4, you have to find the value of x. Now from here, y is 11.4, k is 5 over 6, the relationship is x is equal to ky, k is 5 over 6. So in place of k use 5 over 6 in place of y use 11.4 now 11.4 can be written as 114 over 10 simply uh, remove the decimal by inserting 1 over here and you have one digit after the decimal so insert 1 0 to simplification so you will get the value of x equal to 57 over 6 that is 9.5 now here when uh, y is 11.4 the value of x will be 9.5 this one Question number 10 says if y is directly proportional to x and y is 20 when x is 5. So I, I need to basically concentrate over here that from these two values y is 20 and x is 5. From these two values first of all you have to find the value of k. Anyways we are going to do these three parts in this question. So question number 10 is this one. So in question number 10 they have given you the y is directly proportional to x, y is 20 when x is 5. So first of all, you have to find the value of k by using y equal to 20 and x equal to 5. Uh, so from here, 20 over 5 will give you k equal to 4. Now you have to find in part 1 equation connecting x and y. Now that is this one, y is equal to kx, but you need to put the value of k over here, that k is 4. So y is equal to 4x in place of k, use 4. This is equation connecting x and y. In part number 2, they have asked to draw the graph of y against x. So if you have to draw a graph of y against x, then you have to uh, you have to use this relationship and you have to take few values of x and you have to find the values of y against that. That means when x is 1, now this is supposed value of x, when x is 1, y will be equal to 4. When x is 2, 4 into 2, y will be 8 when x is 3, 4 into 3, y is 12. So now draw these on your graph paper. Now this is uh, x axis, this is y axis, you can represent it as x1 and this one is representing y. So x1, 2, 3, 4, so when x is 1, y is 4, x is 1, so y is 4, then when x is 
2 y is basically uh, if I'm not wrong y is it then when x is 3 when x is 3 and you can see that y is 12 over here so so this is a straight line graph for y is equal to 4x in question number 11 I mean they have uh, told us that what z is direct z is directly proportional to y and z is 48 when y is 6 find an equation connecting y and z part 1 draw a graph of z against y so because z is directly proportional to y so z will be equal to k y by removing the proportionality sign with equality replacing the proportionality sign with equality and using k now when z is 48 y is 6 z is 48 y is 6 you can find k 48 over 6 will give you k k is 8 6 8 times 48 now you got the value of k then you can write down the equation connecting z and y z is equal to k y and use k equal to 8 so this is the required equation connecting z and y now you have to draw a graph in part 2 the process is same use this equation to draw the graph suppose y 1 2 3 4 and against y 1 find z which will be 8 against y 2 z will be 16 y 3 z will be 24 from this equation now draw these values on a graph now the this axis is representing the value for y while this axis is representing z now as y is 1 2 3 4 z is 8 16 24 32 so when y is 1 z is 8 then y is 2 z 16 y is 3 z is 24 so join these lines to find form a straight line graph question number 12 is the net force f newton needed to push a block along a horizontal surface is directly proportional to the mass m mean force is directly proportional to mass m uh, which is the mass of the block when m is 5 f is 49 so find the equation connecting f and m and you have to find the value of f when m is 40 you have to calculate the value of m when f is 215.6 you have to draw the graph of f against m so because y so f is directly proportional to m so f is equal to km by replacing proportionality sign with equality sign inserting a constant k no, you they have given us m5 and f49 so first of all find k as the step is in all the questions m is 5 f is 49 so 49 over 5 will give you value of k so use this value of k to find equation connecting f and m as f is equal to k m so in place of k use 49 over 5 so this is equation connecting f and m now you have to find value of f in part 2 when m is 14 so f is equal to k m k is 49 over 5 m is 14 you have to find f now you can simplify it 49 into 14 divided by 5 will give you 137.2 while in part 3 you have to find m when f is 215.6 as f is equal to k m f is 215.6 k is 49 over 5 obtained in the step previously m is to be obtained 5 will be multiplied with 215.6, 49 will be divided over here so you can find the value of m. So from there m will be 22. Now the graph of f against m will be uh, drawn in this way. So when f is 5, m will be 0 0.51 because you, you are going to use uh, the values, different values of f. Uh, here in this relation you can assume values of f as in uh, on the next page, assume f and find m and then draw the graph and k will be the same so when you will use f5 you will get m.51 when you will use f10 m will be 1.02 in the previous equation the equation that was f is equal to km i'm talking about this one when f will be 15 m will be 1.53 because k is known k is let me see k is 49 over 5 this is the value of k that is being used in the complete question so you can find uh, different values of f against m so uh, so m against f sorry so this is m this is f so when m 0.5 you can choose your scale 0.51 1.52 on x axis mean on where you have you have represented it with m and 5 10 15 uh, over here so when uh, when uh, f is point uh, f is 5 m is uh, 0.5 this one f is 5 m is 0.5 when f is 10 m is 1.02 
when f is 15 m is 1.53 so this is a straight line graph in question number 13 the pressure p pascals of a gas in a container is directly proportional to its temperature pressure is directly proportional to temperature and you have to use uh, when t is 10 p is 25 find an equation connecting p and t find value of p when t is 24 calculate the value of t when p is 12 and draw the graph of p against t so because p is directly proportional to t so p is equal to kt from here when t is 10 p is 25 given over here p is 10 so the t is 10 p is 25 t is 10 p is 25 so use t 10 p 25 find k 25 over 10 2.5 the value of k the equation connecting p and t is p is equal to kt k is 2.5 so this is the answer for equation connecting p and t in part 2 of this question 13 you have to find p when t is 24 use this relation k is 2.5 t is 24 from here find p equal to 60 by multiplying these two then you have to find in part 3 t when p is 12 you write down the relation p is equal to kt k is 2.5 t is to be obtained p is 12 so 12 divided by 2.5 will give you t equal to 4.8 in part 4 you have to uh, draw a graph now when use the relation p is equal to 2.5 t this 2.5 is the value of k now assume t1 you will get p 2.5 by putting t1 over here assume t equal to 2 by putting t equal to 2 over here you will find p 5 then use t3 over here you will find p 7.5 now draw its graph now you can assume your scale on, uh, on this axis uh, x-axis which is represented by t and on the y-axis represented by p now from here if you can see this is 1 2 3 4 this is 2.5 5 7.5 10 when t is 1 p is 2.5 when t is 2 p is 5 when t is 3 p is 7.5 try these points you will obtain its graph in question number 14 uh, the amount of voltage v volts needed to send a fixed amount of current through a wire is directly proportional to its resistance r so voltage is directly proportional to resistance r now because voltage is directly proportional to the resistance so v is equal to kr now they have given you r6 when v is 9 so use r6 v 9 find k 9 over 6 that is 3 over 2 now you in part 2 r is given v is to be obtained use the relation v is equal to kr k is 3 over 2 r is 15 multiply that 3 over 2 is 1.5 1.5 into 15 will give you v 22.5 in part 3 r is to be obtained v is 15 v is equal to kr is the relation k is 3 over 2 r is to be obtained v is 15 2 into 15 30 3 will be divided over here 30 over 3 will give you r 10 and in the last part you have to draw its graph use the relation v is equal to 3 over 2 r assume r 1 find v that is 1.5 assume r 2 you will get v 3 assume r 3 you will get v 4.5 draw the graph take scale of suitable scale on the x-axis and on the y-axis x-axis represented by r y-axis represented by v when r is 1 v is 1.5 when r is 2 v is 3 when r is 3 v is 4.5 join them to form a straight line so this is the solution of intermediate level of exercise 1a d 2 7th edition in my next video i will upload lessons related to the same topic as well. Subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much.